Good. Whilst we edit, we just did the code, the book. Let's do another one of Holland to share. Just laying here on the table, anyways. Uh, City of London, vintage suiting. Who works at suiting? Good. A lot of terminology. Let's see what it contains. Ah, look, this is more my kind of stuff. Not per se. The weave, the cloth. The design, sorry. It's about this. 420 grams, 13 and a half ounces. Roll it up and you got a club to kill somebody, you know? You remember the guys of Wimbledon? You can even do it with a paper. Newspaper, eh? Check it out. Good. Back to the cloth. This is one of the best books worldwide to work with. Why? First of all, weight is necessary to make that stuff drape. You don't want those creases. And nowadays people want to wear the clothing like they are men in tights and getting suffice suffocated they think this is italian or something never seen an italian who's well dressed wearing that but okay it's the legging style creates a lot of risks also and lightweight fabrics are not really uh, usable for it you can see that a lot on the instagram and such that you see guys acting tough showing the watch blah 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 but if we take a closer look at the suit it's all shit if you want to go to war take a fucking ak-47 you can kill people with it and it works that's why you go to war or are you gonna go to war to uh, to show fancy stuff you know that's the question. So this is extremely good, hard-wearing stuff for all seasons. And what does it contain? The ultimate classics, you know? Look at the beauty of this. Zing. That is the way you want to appear. Crease free, you walk in. This creates power. So this is why you still see this within the boardrooms, of course. And of course, nowadays the boardrooms are not only invoked by the old angry white man, the anglo section, but also by the Indian guy, or maybe the anglo section who's not mad or still mad and says, I like a more beautiful color. Look at this. You see? They're all stripes. And then within the twill, you see a different color. Beautiful stuff. <sighs> Very hard in your face. I'm a fan of herringbone, but this is more for coats. I would say this color is disgusting. This is what it should be, a beautiful dark navy, midnight blue, a must-have suit for everybody. My advice is buy this as your starter suit. Got a black one or a dark gray here, charcoal. Yeah, super fine merino wool, so it's very soft on the touch. Feels well on the skin. You might have, would never line such a trouser, really heavy. This is a nice gray. And look here, two grays of the herringbone, but then you see that little difference with colors, you know, and that's why people sit here for ages. You can ask me then to go to the back, I will shut up. More fine herringbone. And in this weight, I think the bold one is more suitable, actually. Brown, coming back. This one was an interesting one. Is this a pick and pick? Is this a... I don't know, actually, what the name is of this weave. We call it British. <laughs> Good. We'll do that more as a jacket or a trouser. Love this puppy tooth. Very nice. Brown puppy tooth. Golden, whatever. Yeah, look here. Why not have a suit in that? Not for your first one. But striking. It's your nice little red check here. It's for the bold and brave. Not the people who need to wear a brand, but people who are brands by themselves. And this is really nice. It's not grey. It has it's grey with a hint of it's called tent then. A hint of I don't know. A bit of brownish sand color. Goes very well with any skill color. Skin color. Skill color, new word. And this is stuff we don't wear in Holland, but we have a lot of expats, of course, so that's why we provide it, of course. Good. You see, quite solid. And, well. and this is where you really see a thickness of a thread. I'm a big fan of bird's eyes, <sighs> but not in heavyweight cloth. This is too bold for me. For me, we have many clients who like it. But this is a bird's eye, bird's eye, and this is a true bird's eye. We'll go for this then, you know, it's not so in your face. Fine stripes. Good, so you see all your classic cloths here. Let's make a video soon to discuss those weaves a little bit so you recognize them. Very nice shark skin. Okay. The various colors. Your planes, your twills, of course. Always at the back of the books of Holland and Sherry. That's the power of Holland and Sherry. Very nice people. Very good company. Tom James, the mother company, always works. This one is crazy nice. I have that myself. You can find it online in the double-breasted with a katana stripe on the back. What's a katana stripe? Let's have a look, man. We have them Japanese clients. They like the katanas. The tradition. Check a little bit the samurai, the ronins, blah, blah. Your hop sex. This is actually a Baratea, so very usable for a tuxedo. 
Yeah, and then it's also black, you see? That's good with the British, they write it then, if it's black, so you don't get confused with dark blue. Or purple, or anything. You got your plain wheels here, your twills. I think we talked enough. Price quality, one of the best books in the world for a real British suit. Although we make them here in Amsterdam or on our other locations. I can travel to London, then it's suddenly a London-made suit. City of London, vintage suit in Beholland and Sherry. My name is Jean-Paul. Thank you very much for your interest. I wish you the best. Good luck.